Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Usually we get leaks and information ahead of time about what SBCs and upcoming content we're gonna get in FIFA 23, but this time, EA have put it in plain sight, at least one of the SBCs coming today as a part of Footy's content as Footy's continues on. We're gonna talk about that today, and of course, one part of the market that I want you guys to be very careful with heading into the start of a brand new week so if you're excited for upgrade pack monday drop a thumbs up on the video and of course subscribe if you are new first of all we'll go back to yesterday and look at the content that was dropped on sunday which to be honest we had another great footies player sbc guys jeremiah st juice day a overpowered uh beginning game fifa card that everybody remembers the name of i think was it FIFA 21 or FIFA 22, where he really kind of came up as a really overpowered starter card. Three-star skills, five-star weak foot, center back, and right back, medium high work rates. Uh, guys, the interesting thing about this is he is very, very pacey. He has 97 sprint speed. He's got really good defending stats. And um, I'm just a fan of the price. Six foot one. Of course, the links aren't that good, but he's a premium, right? So he gets those three chemistry points, regardless of the squad that you put him in. 60,000 coins for this SBC. This is good footies content, right? This is what we're used to when it comes to footies content, right? Cheap player SBCs, good value, craftability, and since they're premium items, you can just plug and play them basically into any team. He doesn't help out with a lot of links unless you're using Liga Portugal players in your squad or maybe some Netherlands links, but really nice SBC here, right? Again, it's cheap. We love it. It's good enough. It's actually great stats. You want to see something crazy? This 93 St. Juice Day, technically, if you want to go uh, down to the statistical level, has more total stats and more in-game stats than Rafael Varane's 97 rated card. Now, of course, you're like, Nate, look at the defense and physical. Yes, Absolutely. The differences are in the shooting, the passing, and the dribbling from St. Juice Day to Varan. But still, 5 million coins plus 25 games for this card and 60,000 coins for this one. That's why this is good content because you get a really, really nice level card. Um, even if they're not a one-to-one -one comparison, it's just kind of fun to see that, right? I know that there's already people in the comments who are like, Nate, you can't compare those. I hear you out. They're completely different. Varan is just him in game. But a card like that for 60k with those stats, hey, I'm not going to complain at all so we love that ea keep that up that's what the content that we want to see throughout the rest of this entire week we absolutely love that now yesterday we also had the promised upgrade packs return now for me guys i'm not going to do these uh obviously i'm going to do it once right i think we all have to do the premium mixed leagues upgrade one time and the mixed league upgrade one time to get xp from it and i don't even know if this really changed that much from the sbcs that expired yesterday these were refreshed with i think it maybe even has the exact same requirements inside of it or at least very similar but the ultimate bronze and ultimate silver upgrades if you want to do this bronze and silver into gold menu grind right now this is really really fantastic guys this is a really really good grind they're unlimited repeatable especially if you're needing gold commons you can get them out of the ultimate silver upgrade pack you turn in 11 silvers and you get i think is it eight gold commons back that's a really really solid pack there and especially it's going to help us out with today's content that is upcoming as well so we'll look into that in a second but also yesterday we had the 93 plus tots or shapeshifters player pick um sbc that was re-released of course not a surprise there that was expected other than that not that crazy of a day no new cards added into packs i don't even know if there was any new packs added to the store if there were it wasn't that crazy because we already had the big 250 players packs and the, the 500k pack was already in the store so kind of a quieter ish day i guess you could say on a Sunday. Now, hopefully today it picks up with content specifically in the upgrade pack department. Now, we already know the upgrade pack that we're going to be getting today, guys. It's not a surprise. The same place that we look to get our XP from those SBCs that were dropped yesterday, we're knowing we're, we're looking and noticing again that we are getting the 80 plus player pick SBC today. And at first glance, you're like, "Yay." Why an 80 plus? We've had an 81 plus a couple times now. We've even had an 82 plus player pick recently. I think it was during Shapeshifters. Why are we going backwards in July? Now, the only thought that I have to this is maybe they're only going to require like five golds or maybe they're going to make it like instead of a one of three player pick, maybe it's going to be an 80 plus and one of five. I don't know. Maybe give us more options. Nonetheless, you guys know what to do. It's a Monday. What are we going to be doing? Stocking the club with some gold commons. Gold commons right now are basically discard. 
300 coins a piece, 350 a piece. Uh, they're already starting to get bought up actually at 350 a piece. So I would get on some bids, get on some snipe, stock your club. If you have any aspirations of doing upgrade packs or player picks, for this footies promo now you're like nate is it really worth doing footies upgrade player picks while you know ronaldo and uh alvarez di maria gomez and these guys that are in packs are super crazy hard to pack honestly it probably worth is worth stacking a few player picks this week guys just with the best of that is in packs you never know a vander star a hullet a dino or some of these other really high rated cards that are just good fodder at the very least as a part of footies best of batch one you could hit one of those out of a player pick, and that could mean better SPC fodder for you in crafting. This week is really going to be a week about crafting. All the Centurions cards we're going to get from SBCs. it's really EA is going to get us to do. I'm going to find myself in this exact same position. If you're doing any sort of upgrade packs this week, EA is just kind of going to rope us in to doing SBCs. And that's why I'm hoping that they continue to release good player SBCs so that we have a reason to use our duplicate fodder that we get from player picks and other packs from objectives and stuff and rewards to actually get some decent SBCs done. Now, of course, we have a, a good amount of them here. Vardy, Josalu, Carvalho. Another transfer SBC is definitely needed this week. St. Juice Day. But keep the players coming from footies EA. That would be very very nice. It's going to be a good crafting week, honestly, if you want to grind the game. Now, we should have another upgrade pack as well. Was it last week that we had the 85 times 7? I think it was. But then the week before that, we had the 83 times 25. Guys, I would expect 100% that we're going to get some other sort of upgrade pack today. And a lot of people might be already thinking this as I'm saying this. Is it 85 times 10 season? And to that, I think we're a little too early. I really think we're a little too early. Maybe... We would get an 85 times 10 today, but it would be just repeatable once or maybe once per day, that sort of thing. That's the type of other upgrade pack that I'm expecting to see today, whether it's an 85 times 10, an 8325, or an 857. Again, something along those lines, I would imagine is going to come today. And a lot of people are going to be interested in doing it with the cards that you have in packs for best of. I mean, packs just kind of look, for lack of a better word, pretty at the moment, right? When you have all these other different special cards and promo cards in them, even though these cards are like literally discard values, a lot of the Centurions um, are in packs right now. And I think Winter Wild Cards is another one that people are probably sick and tired of packing already. And yeah, we're going to be packing these guys for another 10 days because that's how much longer this batch of players is in packs. Um, but that's going to be a draw for people, right? That extra fodder that you can get, the extra higher rated. So that upgrade pack um, hopefully is dropping today. I'd love an 85 times 10. I'm not saying that I don't want it, guys. I'm saying it's probably a little bit unrealistic, but it could happen. We'll just have to see. So another thing that could happen today, we mentioned it yesterday, the Paolo Maldini icon foot birthday icon SBC has been leaked. That's the only leaked SBC as of right now. Um, as we saw yesterday, Foot Sheriff, I think, leaked um, the SBC for St. Juice Day like a couple hours before content, uh, literally 45 minutes before content. Uh, so yeah, maybe watch out for another leak today of a player SBC that could be coming out. So far, they're three for three on player SBCs every single day on this game. So maybe we'll make it four for four today. Now, with the content that we saw yesterday, let's also talk about fodder, right? We're talking about, you know, the craftability. We're talking about good fodder in player picks and in packs with the best of. Uh, and fodder prices yesterday didn't really move that much because the 93 plus, although I thought that was a really popular SBC. It didn't really move the market that much. Now, some of these cards did have some movements. And it's actually really interesting how a lot of these gold cards, guys, have better versions in packs. Take a look at some of the cheapest 85s. You go from 5,000 coins for a few of these guys, and then boom, you're straight up to 6K for Jared Moreno, who's out of packs right now. Aspas, out of packs. Schick, out of packs. Um, it's very interesting to see that some of the 85s that are in packs are down, and some of the other ones that are out of packs are in fact uh, up, right? That makes sense. But some of these 85s are club stockable again, right? The investment that we were talking about yesterday didn't necessarily mean, uh, we didn't necessarily mean it was all going to go up yesterday on Sunday. I would say maybe stock a few more 85s if you want to, because I think, especially if we get an upgrade pack today that has a lower rated squad requirement. Also, we're still waiting on the 90 plus icon player pick to come back at some point during the week this week, which it hopefully will. So it's the same ratings we talked about yesterday. If they are low, I would say not a bad time to stock up on a couple of those. I think maybe some of your 91s had a bit of a spike yesterday. Lewandowski is 32K. What did he do yesterday at content? Yeah, they had a little bit of a spike, but then they went down a little bit. 28,000 coins for him. 
um, and now he's back to 32k so fodder had a bit of a spike yesterday at content but really other than that it's not moving a whole lot i think it's going to continue to move up throughout the week this week and again guys i would say this if you're looking for a last minute move get on 83s on bid now 83s are probably going to be a bit more accessible today via player picks but with the footies batch one player pick that is out, the potential that you can get Dino, you can get Hullet, or just another good team of your icon card out of that. I think people are going to be crafting these all week long, especially like when you get a duplicate Aspas Centurions or a duplicate card. It's easy to throw it into this. Get yourself a team of the week somehow. That's probably the biggest barrier to get this SBC done is the team of the week player. Um, but, you know, it's very easy to craft if you have a team of the week and a higher rated card as a duplicate throw into that player pick and at least get a chance of getting something fun so again i think that's going to be the mantra for this week there's going to be a lot of people crafting and doing sbcs which is why i'm interested in the fodder side of the market now speaking of the market as well uh i know there's not a lot going on prices are really just kind of stagnant right you know how you have some things moving up and down finally we had some price drops on some of these footy cards that are in packs um specifically joe gomez i'm sure saint juice they had a little bit to do with this yesterday just because that was a really cracked card gomez is down to about 770 he was still 900k yesterday um i think julian alvarez is down a little bit he was still 2 million coins when we looked at him on yesterday's video and now he's like 1.9 or 1.8 million coins somewhere in there so these guys are definitely down a little bit the cards that i'm more worried about though are the level ups this is the time i believe last week that some of the level up cards from team one started to take some even bigger drops guys this veron card i know we compared them already kind of to the uh saint juice day but this veron's 5.2 5.3 million coins remember how much kdb and renato dropped off last week especially towards the end of the week but I'm, I'm trying to get you guys on the front foot we're trying to talk about this ahead of time if you're doing veron if you're doing goretzka if you're doing gabriel martinelli chow many any of these guys that maintain some value in level up team two get the cards completed get your games done asap because once we get towards the middle of end of this week these cards are going to drop and get panic sold once again as the objectives are about to go away and you might be like nate are we going to look to invest in these at the end of the week uh yes we are when kdb goes from a million coins to 1.8 right we're definitely going to be interested but remember how much kdb dropped down in that that week last week right from 7.3 mil all the way to a million coins on on friday literally his minimum price and then going back up to now 1.8 which is absolutely crazy that, that card is that much on the market the rarity there is kicking in big time but for these level up team two cards the objectives go away soon so just be careful with those for the footies cards man shoot if you're gonna try out um you know Di maria if you're gonna try out gomez ben Acer even um i would just keep it to quick flips guys i would not hold on to those cards for very long because i mean they're just I just think they're very overpriced and whenever a promo cards like this are very very overpriced it just scares me a little bit to to hold on to them and to keep them in the team um, unless you don't care about losing coins at all at this stage of the game because man the rarity uh i mean these guys are definitely overpriced for where we are right now in the end game this being 2.4 million coins ronaldo going on day four today's fourth day of the footies promo this guy is still extinct on the market nowhere to be found uh, with his max price of 15 million coins. Uh, it's just, again, this is the part that we, I, again, like I said in yesterday's video, I, I've never cared less about promo cards and packs personally. Uh, yes, there are some nice ones, but I mean, with the state of this footies promo, the way that it is and those cards being in packs in the first place is just a little bit underwhelming. So to cap it all off, uh, just keep an eye on some of your shapeshifters and there will probably be some decent price movements upwards today on the market. I mean, I picked up a Zaha, I like um i think i bid 200k flat because he was like 220 during the day yesterday there's still some premier league hype uh, i was looking at the gomez i was looking at the delict because delict is a card that fluctuates a lot i would tell you guys if you're trying to make coins right now in this game just literally go to flipping search through the uh, most recent promo teams shapeshifters tots cards and level ups um and look at the graphs like um seriously just click into these cards look at the graphs whether it's a cheap budget that you're on or maybe a middle to higher tier budget like this Luis Figo striker card, 302,000 coins. Uh, what's he been in, in the last day? Where's he been? He's been between 330 and like 290, right? So like this Figo, if I saw a 295 undercut, that would be a price that I would want to buy. Or, you know, looking through a couple of these other teams, I had my eye on, uh, who was it? I was just looking at a shapeshifter card. Anthony Martial, 795, right? It, really for this, I wanted like seven. 
60 or 770 because every single day he goes to about 840 and i know he's getting supplied in weekend league rewards but even 895 on saturday um you know there's not a lot of supply for a guy like uh, Martial, the young would be a one to watch. Petite, so I would be, I would still be trading if you want to grind the market. If you need coins at this stage of the year to keep moving and keep uh, being able to participate with content, absolutely get on the market and grind because you can just get on bids, get on fluctuations, and the trades are going to be there 100. Is this a fresh Martial right here? This one that just popped up, first owner tradable. Imagine finishing weekend league and getting that. That is pretty crazy. So. Uh, again, not to belabor the point, guys. I know the content right now is just not all that we want and all that we expect, but it is at least very grindable. I'm going to start playing the cup today. Probably going to get that St. Juice Day done and try him out in the cup. At least play my five games to get the XP. If we're able to win 10 during the week, that would be fantastic. Get ourselves an 85 times 10 and all the fodder packs that go along with it. So hopefully EA continue to drop good SBC content because that is what footies is all about about but if you guys enjoyed this video today drop a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and of course subscribe if you are new i will see you guys in a video today sorry tomorrow and a stream today all right guys i'll see you there it's been nathan account and catch you guys later peace out